click subscribe for update video every day. Since its original iteration in 2011, the Kindle Fire has been solid choice for novice tablet users and those more interested in consuming content than running dozens of apps or fiddling with the finer details of the underlying Android operating system. With the third-generation Kindle Fire HDX, Amazon has made its tablet novice-friendly, thanks to the addition of Mayday a feature that lets you call up an Amazon customer service rep with a couple of taps. The rep can walk you through any issues with the help of on-screen illustrations. But Amazon faces stiff competition from Google's excellent Nexus 7 and the upcoming iPad Mini 2. Whether the Kindle Fire HDX, which starts at $230 for the 7-inch model we tested, just like the Nexus 7, is the best choice depends on how much you care about app selection. Where Amazon still lags far, far behind, how amenable you are to Amazon's content ecosystem, and whether or not you'll find many of the tablet's unique features useful or fun. Let's get this out of the way right away. The screen on the 7-inch HDX we tested looks great. Its 1920 by 1200 pixel resolution matches the Nexus 7 and surpasses the 2012 era iPad mini. The screen looks as bright as the Nexus 7 and, if you put the two devices side by side, the HDX's screen has richer, more saturated colors. Viewing angles on both devices are equally excellent, because the HDX's edges are angled. The ports aren't straight. When you plug in the charger or headphones, the cable connectors jut upward. The rest of the HDX's exterior is not thrilling. For starters, the device is about a half inch wider, though shorter, than the Nexus 7, which makes it less pocket friendly. The HDX is also heavier and thicker than the Nexus 7. It's the angled sides and back, and the HDX's button layout that bothers us. The matte plastic backside of the HDX is a collection of angles and flat edges that reminds us of the It was a great look in the 90s, but it doesn't make a good tablet in 2013. After holding the HDX in our hands for prolonged periods, we found ourselves missing the rounded edges of the Nexus 7, or the last generation, Kindle Fire. The HDX's edges dug into our palms. The tablet's buttons are also on the back, rather than the sides, which makes 